Welcome to the Relax and to Love podcast. I'm your host, Teal Elizabeth, and the founder of Relax and to Love Coaching. And girl, oh my God, you are in for such a treat. This podcast has been something that has been on my heart to do for a very long time, and it is finally here. It is my mission with Relax and to Love to help ambitious powerhouse women to really learn how to get out of our heads and into our hearts and learn how to approach relationships from a place of joy and ease. Because it's so easy to get caught up into the over chatter and the anxiety of the mind and then realize that we are actually subconsciously pushing men away or messing up relationships or saying things that we don't mean and just causing so much friction and tension in relationships, especially with men, that we really don't don't want. And what I've noticed from my own self, just from many, many years of dating and from now being in a relationship with my sweetheart, is that there is so much that we don't realize that is operating underneath the surface that is actually showing up in our reality of how we approach relationships with men and our our relationships and our love life. And when we can take a chance to really be able to relax and sift back and like kind of lean back into this deeper place of reflection that we can actually start to shift and dramatically change the way we show up and the way that our love life shows up for us. And this has really come to me and I've really birthed Relaxing to Love as as a company because I realized that with this rise of women's empowerment, it is such a unique time for us in this modern world. It really is. And I'm loving it, right? Like never before have we had the power and the strength and just the abilities and the opportunities that we, we do have where we can run companies and be seated at the boardrooms and earning sometimes more than men and really being honored for all the gifts that we have as women. But what I'm also noticing is that it's creating a huge backlash and, it, and it's creating massive, massive consequences when we bring this kind of go-getter women's empowerment, feminism energy into relationships. Because honestly, our men are being in this place of like, wait a second, like, I don't know what to do with you anymore. Like, who are you? You know, you look like a woman, but you act like a man right? And this energy, although it is powerful, it needs to be redistributed and it needs to be refined so that we can really step into the new version of what it gets to be as a woman in this modern day. And that is my role for you, is to help to redefine for the world what it really means to be a woman in this modern day, where we do not have to sacrifice all the power, all the beautiful strength that we have in this new new experience in our role, right? But also being able to remind men that they still have a place for us in relationships, right? And that they still get to be this beautiful king that we honor and that we respect and that we admire and redefining the roles so that they don't look at us like 1950s housewives, but that we also still get to be in that beautiful feminine essence that we are from a place of strength. It's such a beautiful time to be alive as women, and it's really uncharted territory right now, and that's why I'm speaking on it. And that's why I'm really, really excited to be diving into all these concepts here through this podcast, because there's so much more that can be expanded upon when we really just give ourselves the time to listen and the time for me to be able to speak these truths that are just pouring through me, right? More than just a little snippet on Instagram or a little YouTube video, like this is the time to really get to uncover these truths. So that's what this is going to be all about. And I hope you're ready and I hope you're fired up for it because it is so beautiful and it is so powerful when we really tap into these truths. And for my own self, this is something that now I've been able to truly 180 my life in so many ways. You know, I left the corporate world. I completely surrendered into this beautiful feminine embodied business of relaxing to love coaching. I'm traveling the world and I have attracted this incredible, incredible partner who not only just is there and and is a nice companion to have on my travels, but he gets me. He gets me in my power. He gets me as the queen that I am for this world, and he's not afraid of it. If anything, he is so inspired by it. He is so lit up by it, and he wants me to be in my presence, in my power. And it doesn't diminish his power because it makes him get to truly expand into the best, best, most powerful version of himself as well. 
And it's such a beautiful dynamic partnership. And I feel that this is not talked about enough, right? Of how do we create these kind of role models that are true hashtag power couples, but from a very deeply grounded sense of self, not from an ego sense, but from a truly grounded sense of self. So in this podcast, I'm going to be talking about lots of different kinds of concepts. I am very, very spiritual, as you probably can tell. I believe very strongly in the law of attraction. I'm also very grounded, though. I went to school and studied biology in college, so I really get things on the scientific level, too. And I get that we can't just live up in our heads in the clouds. Like We have to have just a beautiful balance of the metaphysical with the actual physical and really learning how to do that dance and that balance between both. And that's what I hope to be for you is this channel for you to connect in with your own self, to really offer you reflections and ways of thinking and perhaps new perspectives that you can bring both to your own relationship with yourself and with your relationship with men. And through my, through my coaching and teaching and books and courses, like this is something that we go into in such a deep level to really help women who are ready to up-level themselves and up-level their relationships to completely transform their lives. So strap in and get ready because it's going to be a wild, fun ride and I cannot wait to get started with you. So really the, the big themes that I'm going to be talking about throughout this podcast is one going to be about really unpacking feminine energy. And like, what is feminine energy, right? There's so many different kind of, I feel like, two terms and feelings and connotations around like feminine energy and this essence, but we're going to get really down to the heart of it. What is feminine energy and how do we really embrace it from a place of strength and not weakness, right? And unpacking the true strength and power of feminine energy, especially when it comes to magnetizing that dream man that you really do want or reconnecting and rekindling the relationship that you already have with a man, but that maybe is fizzling out and dwindling. And then I also want to talk about the next deeper layer of that. And that is the self-love, self-confidence, self-worth piece in regards to relationships. Because a lot of times, even when we are very powerful women, very confident women, we still can sometimes lose all of it or give it all away when we fall in love. <laughs> I, I am a true testament to this. This happened to me too. And before I like went on this whole journey for myself, it happens, right? And we turn into these little crazy girls or these over-anxious, overachiever. My, our minds get way too involved and we can't relax, right? And so really starting to uncover this next deeper layer of self-love and self-confidence within the context of being in a relationship, even when we are truly opening our heart and being vulnerable and speaking whatever is scary and whatever we're feeling, but from such a beautiful place of strength that pulls him in and deepens that love even more and doesn't push them away. And then the third deeper level of the relationship world that I'm going to talk about is something that is very new on the scene that I'm very excited to be exploring. And this is about talking about the concept of evolved partnership and spiritual creation and, and really evolving what it means to be in a spiritual union with a partner, with a man, because this is really the juiciness of it. Like once we can unpack feminine energy and really get a good handle on that, once we then really deepen into our confidence and our self-love of ourselves and feel really truly who we are as, you know, as unique, amazing queens within the relationship, then we get to deepen into this beautiful, juicy topic of how do we really get to co-create this beautiful, evolved and spiritual partnership with our man so that we can both go and be the most highest version expressed selves that we are for the world, not just for each other, not just to create a family, but for the freaking world. <laughs> because I don't know about you, but that's what I'm here to do. I am here on a massive soul expansion journey, and I'm taking as many women with me as I can because it is such an empowering place to be, and we do our best work for the world and really, truly make an impact when we feel loved and cherished and supported first from ourself and then from that partner that just truly accepts us for who we are. So those are the three layers of kind of com concepts and conversations that I'm going to be kind of infusing into this podcast. I'm going to be bringing in some guest speakers. I'm also going to be doing a lot of solo podcasts, just kind of channeling what I've really been experiencing. And I'll also be highlighting some of the interviews that I've been on as well that uh, just really capture a lot of the beautiful truths that, that have come forward from my journey. 
So I'm going to get into my story a lot more later, but I just want to share with you a little bit about who I am. My name is Teal Elizabeth. I'm originally from a very small town called Ojai in California. Um, I grew up with orange orchards and chickens in my backyard and, and lived a very, very sheltered life for many, I guess would say. But what I really did have was from a very, very young age, I went to a very beautiful progressive school that taught me from the time I was in preschool the concepts of spirituality and self-connection and conflict resolution and meditation and it was it was these teachings by an Indian philosopher named Krishnamurti and it was such a beautiful incubator for me from such a young age as a child to really get a beautiful sense of self and from that place then after college I ended up going and traveling the world for six months with my best friend and during that time we did a five-day silent meditation retreat in Thailand in the mountains of Thailand and studied under Buddhist monks and it was really at this time that all of the spiritual work that has just been integrated into my being has now then pushed myself into this extreme experience of just truly being alone with myself for five days. And oh my God, it was a crazy experience, but it was so beautiful. And I literally witnessed an out-of-body experience during this time. And from this moment, I was able to really get this very incredible connection of self and ego and attachment and mind and how it all relates together. And so I feel like I have a very, very strong grounded presence around who we are and how we operate in this world and this detached space between the human mind and the human body and our deeper soul and our spirit and how they all integrate and intertwine. But what's really interesting about my personal journey is that when I came back to the United States and went back into the corporate world, I became your typical A-type go-getter hustler, right? And I went into a very, very like dynamic sales career, ended up climbing the ranks. It was my goal. I wanted to be number one and I wanted to beat all the men and I wanted to prove myself to the world, right? So I went into this career and I just got into this mentality and for eight years of my corporate life, I was crushing it in that area, but I struggled so much in relationships with men. And it's, it was such a mind-blowing experience for me because I could not understand why this was happening. It was like I could literally achieve everything I wanted in my life except for checking the box in having the love of my life and, and that whole thing. And especially during this time when you're in your teens and 20s, like really starting to discover who you are. This is the time when there's a lot of pressure of like, okay, and when are you going to meet that partner? So I felt like it was this big gaping void in my life that was unattainable and unable to be fixed. And I, I was starting to have it feel like it was eating away at some of my self-confidence and self-worth. And I was like, I need to figure this out. I need to understand how in the world I fix this area of my life. And so it wasn't until I actually hired a relationship coach that I was able to start to uncover some of the deeper patterns and the ways that I was showing up in the world that was actually keeping me very blocked from relationships with men and keeping my heart very protected and truly subconsciously without me even realizing it pushing men away so this is why I really stepped into doing this work this is something that after going through my fair share of struggles and being single for over eight years even though I felt on the external like I had this confident powerful life that I loved and I was living in San Francisco and just like doing this incredible life I realized that there was so much more that I needed to uncover for myself and that even though I felt like I had a very grounded sense of self, there was so much more in the relationship world that I really was yet to uncover and understand about myself. And from this time, as I was really able to uncover and understand the principles of femininity and deeper self-love work, that I was able to really be able to shift my outcome with men and ended up attracting my now fiancé. We've been together over seven years, and for the last two years, we've been traveling the world, living the life of our dreams, literally just taste-testing the world, as we like to say, and running companies that allow us to enable this lifestyle. And this is where I really come to you now from, is from Bali saying, welcome, welcome to my world, welcome to Relax Into Love. And it is my job and my responsibility, I see, 
to really help you as another beautiful, ambitious, powerful, confident woman to recognize that one, you are not broken, you do not need fixing, and that you also can have the most beautiful, romantic relationship of your dreams with the man that can meet you as an equal, that can lift you up and support you in the ways that you need as a as a, as a co-partner in life, not anything that you need to settle, not anything that you need to change about yourself, but truly just getting to deepen into the beautiful essence of who you really are and maybe uncover and release some of the blocks that may be still hiding around your heart subconsciously so that you really can be the truest, most fullest expression of yourself for your man. So, oh, wow, that's you relax into love in a nutshell. And if that is something that you are excited about, I am so excited for this journey. Definitely please subscribe and write me a review. I would love to know just concepts or thoughts or things that you would really love to have me explore and, and deepen and unpack. This is such a co-creative experience and, and a place for us to really all just be able to continue to vibe on what it means to really be in a powerful and empowered relationship with a man and with ourself and be able to relax into love. And I think that's the last thing that I really want to leave you with, my darling, is you get to relax into love. It does not have to be hard. And I speak this from experience. I've been with my man for over seven years, and I tell you, there were some times in the beginning where it was hard and it was challenging and we had to work through our kinks. But once we got to this place of just deepening into that more evolved spiritual level and connection and understand, understanding of each other, it has been so beautiful. It's been over five years that it has just been so beautiful and easy. And it is the most secure and fulfilling place to be within a relationship when you don't have to even put any energy or mental anxiety into worrying about the relationship. When you can truly feel so settled, so grounded, so relaxed in love that you're able to then go and use all that mental energy for other things to improve the world, right? So that's really what I want to help you to do is to be able to get to that place within yourself and understand that oh, I can relax into love. This can be easy. And I'm so excited for that journey. And I'm so eager and, and ready to understand what it means to actually even be able to do that. So welcome. Welcome formally into my tribe. You are now a part of the Relax Into Love community. If you would like to continue to be deeper into the Relax Into Love community, I have an amazing Facebook group where I do live streams, where I put up really inspiring quotes. Or you can also follow me on Instagram at Teal Elizabeth underscore. And we have so much beautiful content coming out on the daily for just really helping to cultivate this new mindset and this new perspective for you to be able to step into the world of relationships and dating and love from a drastically different place, from a place of true joy and ease. So with that, I will wrap it up for today and definitely continue to explore um, just all the different concepts that I'll be bringing to the table and let me know. Let me know what, what really speaks to you, my dear. So I am sending you so much love today and I cannot wait to begin. Bye.